Hi there, my name is Alan Lamont. I am bringing a message about the Black Pope, the Superior Jesuit General. First I'm going to begin with a verse of scripture. It's from John chapter 8, verse 44. You are of your father, the devil, and the desires and the lusts of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own for he is a liar and the father of it." End quote. What I'm going to do in this video is leave a website link for a free PDF book The book is called The Black Pope, and I've researched a lot of historical books on the Jesuits, and this is the best. I mean, it really is. It goes into the depths of the Jesuits, the Society of Jesus, and how they really work. You know, it goes into the whole structure and gives you revelation of that structure. And the link will be on the description section of the video, so all you have to do after watching this video is click on the link. And it will take you directly to the page where you can download this free book called The Black Pop. And all you have to do is have Adobe Reader and you can open it on your PC. Okay, let me explain something about the Jesuit order. They have rules by which they're governed. And these rules were published at Prague in 1757 and contain not only the rules of the order, as authorized by the various popes who approved them, but also the decrees of general congregations. And everything is provided for, they cover everything by their rules, and nothing has been left to chance or future arrangement. Uh, even the possibility of the defection of a general himself was foreseen, and arrangements made to provide for such contingency. Not that that would happen, <laughs> because it takes decades to be trained to be a general. When you are positioned as a black pope, you are completely committed to the Jesuit order. But even the Jesuit general is also under certain supervision. He is overseen today. Uh, he is not allowed to travel alone and he is provided with Jesuit assistance and they assist him. Uh, but that does not mean that he is really restricted in power. That's not the case. He has absolute power, but he is overseen. And that's really, there is an accountability within this chain of command. And once a general is the general of the Society of Jesus, he can dismiss at pleasure. Also, he can promote or degrade his subjects as he thinks fit without giving account to anyone whatsoever. Furthermore, he has the most extraordinary and absolute power and he rules the society of Jesus he rules the army of Loyola the society of Jesus is worldwide <clears throat> and they do control the governments of the earth so it's important to understand this power structure And the order, or the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits, are really known as the Company of Soldiers. That's what they are. They are known as the Company. That is their actual name. Now, the word Jesuit means a crafty person who deceives the people, of course. That was given to them by Protestants. But their actual title is the Company of Jesus, or the Army of Loyola, under the nominal command of Jesus Christ. Of course, we know that they're not under the command of Christ <laughs> they are truly the army of the black pop they are the army of the general they were known as the pop's militia they were the militia of the pop the pop soldiers under the command of the pop until the order completely took over the Vatican and you see in the very 
you know, beginning of the Society of Jesus, that they poisoned the popes of Rome. Even Pope Clement for suppressing them in 1773. He died in 1774, of course. But it's important to understand the word Campania. C-O-M-P-A-N-I-A, -A, Campania. Which is the expression for the company of soldiers under the command of a captain. What we know today is the superior Jesuit general. This is an army. It is not a religious order. Napoleon Bonaparte made that very famous quotation when he revealed that the Jesuit general is not the mere father abbot of a monastery, but he is the general of an army. Now they use the name of Jesus to be accepted, of course, amongst the clergy. But they are Babylonian. They are not Christian. Never have been. It's the black pop today that controls the earth. He controls the throne of St. Peter's. He controls every pop of Rome. And recently, a few months ago, in March, we had the positioning of a high Jesuit general to be the pop of Rome because the Jesuits are no longer in the shadows. And what you have across the earth is what's called, okay, friends of the Jesuits. They are friends of the society. They're politicians. They are the ones that are Vatican Knights and they rule the banking system, the media. And the only way to have power within the order is to be Jesuit trained. Only then are you empowered of the general to be positioned. There's no other way. That's why all of the politicians today come from Jesuit universities. And the motto of the order, of the company, is really to promote the glory of God. That all things are done for the glory of God. But it takes many, many years to be a high Jesuit. They for decades are under the power of their superiors. And everything they do is for the benefit of the order, even if it means bringing death and bringing war and counter-reformation and destruction and overthrowing governments. It's all for the glory of the order, not the glory of God. And this was the vision of Ignatius Loyola, really. Now, it does take many years to be a high Jesuit. It is a society within a society. That's the truth. At the highest levels you have the Jesuit Curia. These are high Jesuits and they've been within the order for approximately at least 30 years to 40 years. And then they are given the high oath of induction and these are the ones that truly are the generals. There's many generals and they rule over their the Jesuit assistances, they rule over their provinces and they control the governments. These are the high Jesuits, of course. But there are thousands of low professed Jesuits. And when you study the character of the order, it is really an order of overthrown governments. Let me make that very, very clear right now. The Jesuit order is an organization, it's a body of counter-reformation. And all of the Jesuit colleges and all of the Jesuit universities are aimed at training future politicians and leaders in the intelligence community. That's what they do constantly. They raise up their Vatican Knights, they raise up their Jesuit alumni to rule over the earth. And the power of the Jesuits is really in educating the youth. I can't make that point clearer. I mean, that is... The power the Jesuits have, they educate the youth, and the youth come from the black nobility bloodlines of Europe. They also come from the, you know, banking uh, bloodlines of America, and so on. But these are really young men who are trained from, for instance, in America. You have the Holy Cross, you have, uh, you know, Xavier, you have Gonzaga, you have the Jesuit Wheeler University, Fordham, the most powerful 
as Jesuit Georgetown University. That is really the military headquarters. And there's not many people that are really honoured in the sense that they are chosen by the society to be presidents. But these people are completely under the control of Jesuit training. And they are under the power of the Black Pope. And their ambition is to do battle, to bring war against Protestants, to overthrow all governments. That's the truth. Really, the truth is this, that the Central Intelligence Agency in America, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the NSA, Homeland Security, they're all really just arms of the Black Pope. That's what they are. Intelligence arms of the Black Pope. The Roman Catholic Church does control the New World Order. And it is the High Jesuit Priests, otherwise known as High Provincials, that really govern the Jesuit Curia from the Church of the Jesuit Rome. They are the ones that control all governments. So I'm going deep into this again for people and look at this free book, this PDF book, The Black Pope. Go through it. It's a must read book. You have to read this book. That's why I've put it on the video. And uh, let's understand something about Ignatius Loyola. Ignatius Loyola, truly, his purpose was not just to overthrow the Protestant Reformation, it was to literally infiltrate the Vatican and take it over from within. The Jesuits ruled through terror. I'll say that again. The Jesuits rule through terror. The leaders of the earth know the power of the Jesuits and they're terrified. Now, okay, to be initiated as a high Jesuit, it takes decades. And when you reach that point where you are initiated into the fourth Jesuit vow, otherwise known as the high oath of induction, you are at that moment under the complete power of the black pope. You must do what you're commanded. That's why it takes so long. And I'm not talking about, you know, Jesuit novices. I'm not talking about people within the Jesuit universities. I'm talking about the very top, the very top. The Church of the Jesu. These Jesuits give commands to monarchies. They give commands to presidents. They give commands to all governments. That is the truth about the New World Order. And the Black Pope, he is the God of the Society of Jesus. His will governs the Jesuits. And the Jesuits are merely, and I'll be honest about this, they are really corpses. They have no will of their own. They have no conscience of their own. They will do whatever they're commanded to do for the Church of Rome. Okay, conclusion. What we have across the earth today is really a one world government ruled over by the Black Pope. And there's a lot of debate about who he is. Is it Hans Kohlenbach? Is it Adolfo Nicholas Patchen? Is it Pope Francis? What we do have is three generals. Let me explain something. Every Jesuit provincial that rules a nation is a general. That's right, they are a general over their assistancy. And I'm going back into this now because God's called me to go back into this now and that's what I'm doing. So I've done that a lot in the past and I brought out a lot of Christian videos and praise and worship music and teaching and now I'm going back into the New World Order. Okay, uh, my name is Alan Lamont. Thank you for watching the video and let me just bring a final conclusion. This is the New World Order. All you have to do, if you're in any doubt, read the book of Revelation chapter 17. It reveals clearly, even though the internet is filled with agents of Rome, conscious conspirators, Jesuit coadjutors, all saying that really, you know, the New World Order is really controlled by the Jews and on and on and on and on and on. The fact is this. This is the truth. The Black Pope controls his Jesuit provincials. They control the governments. They control the presidents. This is the New World Order. 
As I've said, read this PDF book. Go on the link, click on the link, and download this book, and read the book, and it will open your eyes. God bless you.